Hello, everybody, anybody, and possibly just myself. We are here doing my very first talk-through, walk-through, gameplay game guide in Subnautica. We are going to try and give this game a go from the very beginning, fresh start, and we're going to see what we learn uh, as we play it. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. We are going to start a new game. Now, I have very limited experience with this game. I, I checked it out, you know, just for maybe an hour. Just pulling around, seeing what I could what I could do, what I could have, what I could learn. Uh, so we're going to go into it mostly blind. I know a little bit about the premise, what needs to be done. But we're going to be starting from scratch here and uh, learning as we go. So, new game. Survival, crash, land on a dangerous alien planet, scav uh, scavenge, word. Resources, manage hunger, thirst, survive. Freedom, life, survival, but without hunger or thirst, we want the challenge. Hardcore, survival mode with only one life, no oxygen alerts. Yeah, no, we don't want that big of a challenge. So, we are going to take survival, we're going to see how it goes, and we're going to jump right into it. So far, killer music it sounds like Spaceship Earth at Disney World Epcot. Loading Essentials. Cyclops? Oh no. Like I said, I've played very little uh, of this game so far. Maybe about an hour, maybe two hours, and it got me pretty much nowhere. I learned about the, the kinds of materials in this game, um, the, the limited number of dangers at the very start and other than that it's been literally swimming in the dark so we're gonna give it a try for an hour or so see how it goes and if we like it we're gonna keep going if we don't like it we're still gonna keep going i'm dedicated to conquering survival games like this press any button to continue will do I must have pressed the wrong button. Launch in three, two, one. Holding. Got me smacked in the head. Oh, yep. There it goes. Always fasten your wall plates. That's key when you're building escape pods. <laughs> well, I'll guess that's in. And uh, this is this is anti-good. This is the opposite. This is the opposite of good. Okay, right. Fire I'm sure you just please. And we're going to use R2 to get the fire extinguisher. Yes, we are. Was I a firefighter on that ship that just blew up? Maybe so. Was I good at my job? Obviously not. Oh man, these suffering times. Minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Okay. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Right. So we have a fire extinguisher. We have... Excellent. <laughs> I'm killing this. Quick slots. Okay, got that. 100% fuel on this fire extinguisher. Damage security systems. Use repair tool. It doesn't look like I have one of those on this creature. here. What do we have here? We have flares. Useful for distracting certain predators. That's daunting. Filtered water, we are going to take some of that and nutrient block. I can't imagine we're gonna not need that. So, we'll have those. Hmm, blueprints. Already so many things we can make. A 
life pod. Oh. What color do we like? I like this orange. It's a nice orange. Ah, these are things that we can see on the map or something, I suppose. We suffered minor head trauma. We've got a data bank here filled with... Ah, start here. If you're reading this, and you've survived an emergency evacuation of a capital-class ship equipped with Altair technology. Congratulations! The hard part is over. The PDA is automatically rebooted in emergency mode. The operating system is one direct. If you live in a hostile world, that is not possible. It will alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. And I can't remember what that says, because that is a very blinding light behind me. Alright, what else do we have here? Um, oh, that was where the fire extinguisher was loosely uh, attached to the wall. Um, got oh, solar power cells with some power in them. Okay, yep, yep, for sure. Security circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Medical fabricator. Ah, excellent. And uh, oh, fabricator. So when I played this game before, I got a sense of you know. Uh, building things unlocks more things to build, unlock more things to build unlocks even more things to build. And I've seen snippets of people building, I don't know, impressive underwater, I don't know, like, SpaceX style modules, so this is, um, this is now where we're at so far. So we're gonna, we're gonna get there. Use repair tool for the damage radio. Okay, so it looks like our only options are up or down. If we're on a alien planet, I highly doubt that down is going to be the best option. What the hell was that? Time to go put out those fires. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Terrific. Oh, there we are. <laughs> my hair that's uh, on top of my head there, what is that? Snorkel mask or something? Okay, ooh, there we go. Very rarely can you see your shadows in games. This is, um... This is not good. Obviously the moon or something. Um... Let's dive in. This mask was not on my face before. <laughs> I don't know who's in charge here, but... We... are underwater. What do we have here? Ooh, pick up metal salvage. Okay. So we have... Oh, screenshots of the PDA. Okay. So the buttons are very... R1 to go down, L1 to go swim up, and... See our health bar isn't engaged on the left. Okay, swim to surface. Will do. Don't gotta tell me twice. Deep breath. And, uh, let's get going. Oh, 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 oh! Nice. So it's gonna be so... Hard to catch these things. I'm gonna be looking in every which direction a hundred times a day. This is a soccer ball. Rav trap fragment. Looks like a Jabalani. Oh. What the hell? Oh no. <laughs> so I've heard that this game is, uh. You know, it gets freaky. I mean, I'm not one for for deep water myself. I am a certified scuba diver. That's uh, something you can know about me right off the bat. I, uh, I have been in this environment many times. That does not mean that it does not scare the crap out of me. Always. We is an essential component have some copper. Of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Granted, uh, when I go scuba diving, it's much less survival-based. I mean, all scuba diving is survival-based, obviously. But my life is very rarely dependent on my ability to 
create spaceship materials. Not never, but usually never. We have here. Ooh. Pick up a creature egg. See, uh, when I played this game before, I learned the creature eggs are not exactly a necessity right off the bat, and thus we can likely let's likely leave them behind for now to save inventory space. The important thing is materials. If you can get, yeah, see, especially ones like this. Oxygen. We gotta go up. <laughs> Um, drowning, very real possibility, I'm sure. Um, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing, but I figure maybe there's some salvageable materials from the ship over there. Or, you know, scattered around the ocean floor. Now that we, the only humanoid species capable of littering, have now reached the planet, and in 10 to 20 years, I'm going to have my whole a whole island filled with trash, and uh, I can live off that. Oxygen. Big things <laughs> in dark water are very much what I want to avoid in my daily life, not even in this game. Like what? Here I go swimming towards it. I these things, I don't... What the heck is that thing? Oh man, crevasses, big floating manatees. This is literally just a floating rock. What is this? A floater. Oh, interesting. Need something. I'll, I'll do that in a second. I'm having fun with floating rocks here, and I'm about to die! <gasps> oh, wow, I've never been in a game that makes you take a deep breath when you re-emerge from the water. Wow, I felt out of breath there. This game's gonna get so claustrophobic so fast. And I'm not a claustrophobic person. I, I can handle tight spaces fairly well. <laughs> Maybe not as good as the average human, but that was interesting. I so we have flotation devices. Essentially, we've got detecting increased local radiation levels. Oh, brilliant! Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained wow, is during planet so so Okay, let me see here. We have our inventory space filled with floaters. And symbiosis. I've disrupted all symbiosis. There's no more. No one can be here anymore. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I just tensed up so bad. That was. Oh, this is terrifying. I don't like it. We're gonna <laughs> back to the to the pod here. Oh, I'm so tense right now. Oh, wow. Terrible feeling. Ah, I keep taking screenshots. This is not the time to. Practice my photojournalism. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, that was so scary. Okay, um, I don't know. Maybe we can spend this time dropping stuff off. I need a minute. <laughs> Looking down and seeing things below you while you're just swimming in an unknown ocean. You know, that's that's all well and good. And then when you look down a second later and it's pitch black. <laughs> Ah, oh, this game's gonna, this game's gonna take a minute for me to get used to. All right, um, I don't suppose we'll need any of those. We, it did say we needed food, so we're gonna consume UDs. Consume some nutrient block. There, everything is in order. Um, let's see what we can fabricate. So we've got a few new cooking items: cooked food, cured food. I don't have any salt to cure my peeper. I can cook my peeper. I can eat my peeper. Um, we don't necessarily want to do that now. What is this? Employables. Sea glide. Ingredients unknown. Okay. Mobile vehicle bay and a water locker. Okay. Tools. Scanner. Scanner. Um, I learned very quickly that this is a necessity. 
Yes, used to acquire technology. Technolo technology lately. Yikes, used to acquire technology blueprints and data on living organisms. Cool, cool, cool. Multi purpose repair tool functional in all environments. Uh, oh, this is uh, the damage security systems and everything around here said we needed a repair tool in order to fix it. Ah, there's a percentage gauge telling me when the next med kit's going to be. Okay. We do need a repair tool at some point. Uh, I don't know where I find cave, salter, and silicone rubber. Oh, now we have a flashlight. Haha, <laughs> necessity. Uh, survival knife, also huge. I want to be able to defend myself. Some flares and a habitat builder. Okay, so that's how we're going to build our, our underwater arena. Standard O2 tank. You know, could be necessary and very useful. We need titanium for that. We have two, it looks like. Uh, fins. Needs silicone rubber. First aid kit needs fiber mesh. Fire extinguisher needs... Extinguishes fires. Does the job. <laughs> some pipe and some a floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes. Acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Why would I need a pipe chain? Titanium. Oh, we can make it with the metal cell, which is delectable. Uh, a titanium ingot. I don't think we have any use for that. Silicone rubber is made by from creep vine seed clusters. Glass is made from quartz. Ah. Cool, so we can make a flashlight pretty soon. And bleach is made with salt and a coral tube sample. Right. Copper wire, battery, okay. Computer chip and a wiring kit. Need silver. Where am I finding silver down here already? I'm, already I'm just poor. I'm just a, a, a poor guy looking for some silver. Okay, so we'll start with this O2 tank. We can make that. We need titanium for that. That's easy. Titanium, I've got it right here. Make four of it. Thank you very much. Standard O2 tank. High capacity O2 tank. Uh, fins we need silicone rubber for. There we go. I was like, it did say there was a new blueprint right there. It is. High capacity O2 tank. In glass, titanium, and silver. Silver seems the hardest to get from those materials. Okay. Uh, fins. Silicone rubber we need the. Creep vine, right? A creep vine seed cluster and fins we can make. Fire extinguisher pipe. What tools? We need a battery. Battery for the scanner. Yeah, I gotta write this down, my god. We need a battery for the scanner. Rubber and salt repair tool. Battery and glass or the flashlight. Okay. Um how do I make a battery? Acid mushrooms. I remember seeing some of those down here. Hopefully it's daytime. If not, I'm going to be very stressed. Oh, it's dark. What was that? Ah! Ah! Oh, God, you scared me. Get the hell out of here. Okay, well, it is brighter down here. Which is good news. I hear myself breathing from the O2 tank. There's something very uh, somber about the sounds you hear when you're scuba diving. Hearing yourself, hearing only yourself breathe from the, from the tank and then oh, practically nothing else. It is, it is a cool feeling to be sure. Um, all right, how quickly can I, you know, get up? So acid mushrooms too, copper ore. We just made a battery, and well, now we know how to make a power cell. Acquired. Acquired. A repair tool and flashlight, all things that I don't think I have enough uh, materials for. Let's go, let's work on getting our fins. First we have our scanner. The scanner 
can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. The, uh, the tip I read online was scan everything. A rabbit ray. What they didn't tell you is how hard it is to actually scan things. Boomerang, okay. Who's naming these? Am I naming these or do we have documentation of, of these life forms? Alright, so <laughs> welcome to my my inventory breakdown and walkthrough. Where I'm here just taking inventory of the ocean, you know. Someone's gotta do it. Any new thing I see, I'm just gonna be scanning it. Like what is that? A Gary fish. A little guy, isn't he? Well, I know. Thanks, bud. That's a cute little guy. He looks like Gary the Snail. That ha I, I can't imagine that's named for anything else besides Gary. Oh, it's a cool effect for sure when they uh, when you scan something. Oh crap! <laughs> Don't mess around with oxygen. Learning a lot. I thought that was like a person sitting here. It's nice. See, I like it a lot when it's you know bright outside and daytime. You can actually see my surroundings. A big, big bonus. Um, what else is there? Looks like some more metal scrap right here. It seems very useful. This metal salvage. Look at us go. You know what the first thing you do is when you find a uh, on an ocean after a, a crash landing? Study it. Don't worry about survival. Take out your notepad, your notebooks, and learn. There's no time to stop learning. Sea glide fragment. Ah. Goody. We now have collectibles to go and find. Because what would a survival game be without tedium? Man, deep down here. I got a picture too, like what I what I need. I don't know what kind of resources I'm looking for here. It's necessary. Obviously it looked like the, the metals, like the, the copper and the titanium, the metal scrap, all that is highly useful in the start. And they're just freelancing this, I don't know. That's a boomerang. Where do I even... Oh, okay. See, like this. Are those like littered all over this wall here? Because they're gonna be mighty hard to see. Don't learn quartz art, right, so we'll be able to make some glass, which means I think we'll be able to uh, get a flashlight. And that's a that's a first. I'm, I'll be much better swimming around at night if I, uh, if I have a means to see. That was a weird glitch. I don't know what just happened there, but. We're gonna hope that doesn't happen frequently. Ah, I'm still getting used to the controls. I'm gonna be diving down to the bottom of the ocean by the time I'm out of oxygen. Seek fluid intake. I'm I'm in fluid. Fluids and taking me. Like shuttle bug. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. 
Uh huh. The repair tool. I just call it a repair. Um. Okay. There's gonna be like some shark just like chilling in one of these crevices, waiting to light me up. All right. Oxygen's a not great. We're gonna come back down here in a second. Restock and come straight back. Pick up. Don't forget the uh, nice titanium. Uh, dying, from what I've discovered, is very much you respawn back at the back at the your pod, um, and you just I think you lose I don't know what percentage of your your collected resources, but you'll you'll drop those on death and then never be able to find those again. So we are going to try and avoid death as much as possible. See, I see things over here. Start left. I wish there was like a like a breadcrumb trail I could leave. Ah, beautiful. An exit. <laughs> cool. Some titanium. We like it. And that wraps us around. Beauties. That looks like another yeah another creature egg. Don't know what to do with those yet. How is this nothing? How, it's, it stands out so much. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core mm. may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing uh -huh. to monitor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's let's monitor that, shall we? Let's make sure we don't get blown up by that giant ship exploding. The wonder, the thought is, can I get on the ship? So we're going to try and check that out and see if we can, if not get on it, at least, you know, grab some things around it. So let's make that our mission. We'll drop off some, drop off some the loot. And I want to swim to that ship. There's got to be something worth having there. We're half an hour in, and I would like to believe that I've made zero progress. It's interesting to me that there are two entry points to this escape pod, because I don't know why that would be necessary. Alright, filter water, we're gonna Vital fuel up. Stabilizing. Brilliant. Um, that didn't really fill up my water, though. <laughs> I, I, we're in, instantly out of water bottles. make a power cell, that's fun. And we know how to make cooked fish. Ah, filtered water we can make with a bladder fish. Non-vegetarian. <laughs> um, maybe that's our maybe that's our, our next move. Let's cook a few fishes. While disposing of the skeletal oh. structure, Sorry, body guy. fluids, <laughs> and internal um. organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Lots of good stuff here. Lots of quartz, lots of copper, and titanium. Brilliant. Um... Okay, can we make anything else before our, our journey to the ship? Tools, repair tool, flashlight, we need a battery and glass. I know how to make those things. I need two acid mushrooms, the glass I can make. Okay, so we have glass. I need acid mushrooms though. And we're gonna grab some bladder fish if we can find them. It's like farming. You know, you just go out, you pick your pick your greens and your and your carrots and radishes, and you make yourself a little salad in the morning. Me, I pick up my acid mushrooms and try and turn those into <laughs> portable light structures for myself. 
am I doing? I have to make the battery. You can't use the battery if you don't make the battery. There we go. And... A flashlight. That's a big one. Very cool. What else? A survival knife. I need silicone rubber. And for that, I need those creeper seed pods or whatever. Okay. So, silicone rubber, ladder fish, ship. That's what we're doing out here. Oh, yeah, shine it directly into your own eyes. That's great. Nothing helps. Nothing like being able to see by not being able to see. There we go. Let's, uh... Sea glide fragment. I know how to make the sea glide now. Brilliant. Giant stalks of uh, kelp over there, it looks like. And we... On our way to the ship. I took another screenshot, because I love doing that, apparently. Ah, creep vine. Beautiful. My guess is... These are the seed pods. My other guess is there's something creeping around in here. Deep tank. What is this? Another creature egg. What kind of creature is this? Oh god, I don't like that it's see through. Beauties. There's gonna be something. There's something very, uh. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Yeah, duh. There's something very, uh. very peaceful and very jarring swimming around in the water. That shadow made it look like that creature had teeth, and we are going to die. Ah! Oh, pay attention to the oxygen. 20 meters away. How far can we swim in three seconds? <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh, the tension in my heart! <laughs> I froze for like a minute. Oh my god. And it's getting darker down here. Yeah, I don't like that merman looking thing over there. Not about it. Anyway, what's in here? Laser cutter fragment. Now we're talking. We are aware of what we don't like though, right? We do not like the darkness. To me it looks like a bladder fish. 30 seconds. New creature discovered. Alien life My forms God. may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Oxygen short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Okay. Seems like it's time for a flashlight. This is eerie. It's amazing how beautiful and peaceful it can be, and then instantly petrifying. 35 meters down, it's like not shallow either, like that's, that's a ways down. This music's gonna get to me. Come here you bladder fish, I need water. doing with this thing. <laughs> Just gripping it by the throat. Woof. Ah, 
this? Looks like a big piece of ship. Let's check it out, shall we? Anything worth scanning? Radiation detected. Oh, good. Let me guess. That's bad. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say radiation can probably kill me. It sounds crazy, but I'm not into radiation poisoning. I'm not for it. What am I learning more about the seed light? Oh, it gives me uh, resources. Okay. There's gotta be some like radiation suit or something that I can that I can salvage. This is no way to live. I say radiation detected, but like, don't mention how much. Is there a limit? That looks enterable. Uh, it seems only worse over here, so I'll tell you what, we'll go back, we'll try and gather more resources, I guess, I think that's our move. Let's see what we can do. Seek fluid intake. What we can grab. Okay, good thing I grabbed those bladder fish, because I'm already thirsty again. Ah, creature. Meet up. Is there a, a, a book it function? Like, is there a button that lets me go just a, just a little faster here? It's like a try harder button. Exert yourself with R2, something, anything like that. up this plush that's entire battery in one go, but see, that was a limestone outcrop. Some salvage, we'll snag that. Inventory full, we will not be snagging anything. Um, okay, there's gotta be something I can, I can ditch here, something worth four spaces it takes up, that's crazy. Need some fish. Um, consume. That made me thirstier. Also made me thirstier. I need water. Okay. Thirty seconds. Back to shore. I'm positively dehydrated. I heal myself. That's another. Use that. Give us an extra few seconds here. Ah, more materials that I cannot grab. I want to be able to like mark a location. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> we'll just remember 200 meters that way. <laughs> or compass? Anything? Oh. Picking up my metal salvage. Oh damn, go a little slower. Alright, we have made it back in time. Thank goodness. And 
this one down. There we go. Gotta find the right angle to get into that escape pod. No doubt, no doubt. Um, I know we can make some water. We are going to do that. How many bladder fish did we find? Only two, apparently. Um, right. Vital signs stabilizing. Man, how are we supposed to sustain ourselves and stay hydrated? Nice, another first aid kit. Alright, so that's just going to be making first aid kits left and right for us. Converts torque into thrust underwater via repeller. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Ah, good. How do you make lubricant? Right, that sounds like a job for someone smarter than me. Mmm, an air bladder. See, that's... That's key. Obviously cook our bladder fish. And we now... Oh, we know how to make lubricant. Aha! Okay, is that actually something I can make? Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. We can make lubricant. We can likely make another battery. We can make copper wire. What was it? Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and what? My memory's gonna give me this game. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, titanium. Tell you what, let's try and make this thing. Grab my, uh, grab my lunch. Man. I'm gonna start thinking I see things and it's gonna drive me bananas. Let's make a battery. Now let's make some lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Seems we have enough to make a sea glide. The sea glide. Will Very increase cool. Your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I will be sure to do that. Terrific. Okay, we can also make silicone rubber. Which means we can also make oh, a survival knife. Very good. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. Oh the God. knife remains the only exception. Okay, it seems like we're going to need more silicone rubber. Silicon, as some people call it. Um, now we can make some fins. Enhanced from suit speed by 15%. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. The repair tool. The repair tool seems like it's the next thing. I'm not sure how to make the laser cutter, but. Fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw material. Computer chip, a wiring kit, and a battery. Okay, it seems like we're all tooled up. Like, I think... Let's work on trying to repair this ship. Maybe we can repair for... Uh, we end this episode today. Um, or 73%. I'm excited for this, uh, this glider thing. And... 
I know knife tricks. <laughs> Brilliant. How do I use this thing? Is... Is that a map? It is a map. Very cool. Ha. Huh. I can now cut things. I didn't mean to cut that fish and let it keep someone away. That was unintentional. Um. Okay, where was... Uh, the material is about 200 meters in this direction. Remember that. Okay. Ah, we didn't clear up a lot of space, but... We're gonna have to make do. Um... Swimming to, towards anything shiny like you, bladderfish. That's why we're here. Why we do it? More quartz and limestone. Highly necessary, thank you. Glad I'm able to just punch titanium, you know? Just get that out of the way. Looks non-lethal. Looks like he's wearing a gas mask. It's funny. His name's Gasopod. This is, um... Dense. And I'm dead. What just happened? What the heck was that? I died and lost some belongings. Do we have all our tools? To be honest, I don't know what we lost. That was literally the game saying, hey, go back. Put your put your stuff away. Um I don't know, we'll keep like two of anything in our in our midst. Pretty fine. I wanna turn that into something so I can take up less space. Turn that to silicone or something. Just have the amount of space it takes up. Um, metal salvage. Don't need too much of that. I'll tell you what we'll take. That. And I suppose that back. I don't know what to do with the floaters either. I feel like I've really just grabbed things with no actual intention of using them. Um. Okay, what are we looking for again? The repair tool, which means we need sulfur. I was told sulfur's found in caves. So that's what a that's what a death looks like, evidently. Want these bladder fish for some for some water? Seems to be like starvation and uh, dehydration are very real threats in this game. You gotta really stay on top of it. Ports, I feel like I need less. Okay, here you are. Hold whole pod of these gasopods. I don't know why I have to get so close to them to scan them. Have I already scanned them? That seems like I have. Okay. I managed that at least before <laughs> my untimely death. Where can I find sulfur? Oxygen. Oh, jeez. A little faster, a little faster. Cruising now. Okay. Looks like we're headed in the right direction ish. The thing does seem to be scanning, which is really cool. Um, checking out our environment. See, I don't want to keep picking up materials I don't, I'm not necessarily going to use. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. This was a bad idea. I shouldn't be down here. I'm supposed to find sulfur. Okay, I can get out through there. 
Everything's fine. Let's um let's not linger. Oh. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten, mm. nine, eight, seven, six, five. Am I too close? Four. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, God. Ah. Good. My mouth is open right now. I, that was... A very cool sight to see. I really hope I uh, don't end up feeling repercussions from that. <laughs> um, but that was very cool. And honestly, this might be a good time to stop the video. I want to see if we can just find some sulfur before we end it. But that seemed very climactic. And we might uh, we might take a break for now and see what happens next time. But first. Try and grab some sulfur. Where would sulfur be? Copper again, that's good. Cut creep vine with a knife. Will do. Aha. Look at that, I found it all by myself. Need no map or compass or nothing. Okay. Remember when I said I was going to stop the video? I lied. Outright. A vending machine. That's fun. Tell me I'm able to make a vending machine. That would be awesome. Alright, we're learning! This is very cool. Fluid Analyzer. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. My money's on, I'm running out of space again. That's my guess. Beacon Fragment. There's so much. Oh, I feel so much better with this thing. Instant reflotation. Another sea glide fragment. Very cool. Scanning those. <laughs> I see. There's soccer balls around here. Ah, there's one. Jambalani's. I know how to make a grab trap now. I got world. We do want an inventory space, not stellar. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was Nailed your it. favorite activity. <laughs> Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> I like this game. It's a it's a good laugh. All right, we need sulfur. We can't end the video without it. But it is going to end on the hour, so. This looks very interesting. We are in the market for some sulfur. I was told caves.
I don't know where these caves are. Where are... Wow. I mean... I mean, wow. It's gorgeous. This whole game is... Just has a beauty to it. Something tells me we're not gonna manage to find salt tonight. Not this night. But maybe that's a jump for, for next time. I think uh, we're gonna make it back to our back to our ship. I'm gonna stock up, re refresh, and I think we're gonna call it a day. And uh, what a productive day it was, in my opinion. Oh, more stuff. Two more... Uh, whatever you call it. Titanium, that's the word. Those are words where we know. back, safe and sound, feel good about it, we're going to sit here and call it a night. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the uh, my talk through, walk through, gameplay game guide, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next episode, titled The Hunt for Sulfur, shouldn't be this hard, anyway, thanks for sticking with Steve, we will see you later. As I terrify myself again. Bye-bye.